Welcome back. Um, quotient rule problems. Get excited. Um, the first one we're going to do tonight is the following. f of x equals x minus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 1. Um, and we're going to be using quotient rule, which let's just go ahead and write it um, somewhat small over here. Quotient rule is the following. F prime of x, g of x, minus f of x, sorry, running out of room, g prime of x over um, g of x squared. Okay, so I know you can barely read that, but um, it's okay. All this is saying is that um, when you are trying to take the derivative of a function and you've got something on the top, something on the bottom, in this case f of x here is x minus 1 and g of x is x squared plus 2x plus 1, you, um, you follow this formula to take the derivative. So we'll do um, the derivative of the, of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom divided by uh, the bottom squared. So that's all that it's saying. So we're just going to go ahead and apply um, the quotient rule here. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll say f prime of x equals, first thing, derivative of f of x, which is the top, so the derivative of x minus 1, which is just 1, and then times the bottom. So x squared plus 2x plus 1, we don't do anything to it, minus um, the top, don't do anything to it, times the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative here, um, the derivative of the first term, x squared, is 2x, and the derivative of the second term is 2, so plus 2, and then the 1 goes away because it's a constant, so that's the derivative of the bottom. So that's the, the entire top of the, the equation, and then we'll, we divide by g of x, um, or the bottom, squared. So we just write it out, x squared plus 2x plus 1, and we square that whole thing because this squared here is, is part of the, um, the quotient rule equation that we're using. So once we've um, taken our terms and, and applied them to quotient rule here, all we need to do is simplify. So the bottom is simplified um, as, as good as we're going to get it. So let's go ahead and simplify the top. Um, in hopefully not too many steps. So x squared, I'm just going to distribute the 1. So that's x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then minus, and let's put this in parentheses. Um, so we'll multiply this out. So x times 2x is 2x squared. And then x times 2 is 2x. And then 1 times 2x minus 2x. And then 1 times 2, so minus 2. Okay, and I'm not going to rewrite the bottom because we don't need to simplify it, so I'm just going to um, go forward with simplifying the top here. So that's going to look like, let's see, x squared plus 2x plus 1, and I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative sign here. So we'll have minus 2x squared minus 2x plus, we've got a negative times a negative, so that's a plus. 2x, and then again, plus 2, and let's see, we should be able to simplify that. Um, x squared minus 2x squared is going to be a negative x squared, and then, so we can cross these out here, and then we've got 2x minus 2x is 0, plus 2x is 2x, so plus 2x, and then 1 plus 2 is 3, so we've gotten everything. So remember, this was just us simplifying the top. So I'm going to go ahead and get us some more room here by erasing this guy. Our answer is actually going to be um, f prime 
of x equals, and remember this was the top, so x squared plus 2x plus 3, x squared plus 2x plus 3, and then we said we had simplified the bottom uh, as well as we could already, um, so the bottom is just going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared. Um, and that's the answer. So this is, you know, we took the function, we applied quotient rule to find the derivative, um, got this, and then we went through um, a set of simplification steps and eventually wound up with this answer. So that's how you use the quotient rule to take the derivative of a function like this.